Are you tired of people making fun of your fly fishing cast? Oh look, an idiot. Let's point and laugh. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't let those people get to you. It's okay, you got this. Are you tired of scrolling through YouTube on countless videos where the, all they do is talk, 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 talk? Really, find a channel that just gets to the point and has a little fun while doing it, like this one. I mean, come on already. Let's just go cast a fly rod. Show me how to do it. Newsflash, there's no perfect way to cast a fly rod. It's true. Well, at Fly Fish Dan's Fly Casting Academy, I'm gonna show you and get right to the point on how to cast one of these fly rods. So let's go do this, fish on. Hey, uh, be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a bonus pro fly fishing tip. Oh yeah. And yes, I am sucking in my gut. The first thing we're gonna talk about is how do you hold the fly rod? You wanna hold your fly rod like this. This is my preferred method of holding a fly rod during a fly rod cast. You don't wanna hold it like this, or this, or this, and definitely not this. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna talk about is the arc of your fly rod. In a general cast, you do not want your fly rod to go back any further than 10 o'clock. I know that the rod arc will lessen on a shorter cast, and get greater on a bigger cast. It's just a great best practice for anyone that's new. So just calm down. And no further forward than two o'clock on a basic fly cast. As your cast lengthens, you will increase the arc to almost nine and three. Let me demonstrate. The next thing you wanna consider is a straight line path to the tip of your rod. So when you're going back on your back cast, you wanna make sure that you don't open up your wrist or do any weird type of twisting motions, you wanna keep a straight line path to the tip of your fly rod. That is very important in creating an efficient fly cast. The next thing you wanna consider is cadence. You don't want your cadence to be too quick. You wanna wait for the fly line to fully extend behind your rod. Okay, maybe that's a little excessive. <laughs> and you wanna wait for it again to fully extend in front of your rod before you bring the fly cast back. The next thing you want to consider is cadence. You want to make sure that you have a nice, patient cadence. Think of a hand of a grandfather clock. Actually, it's more like this. A lot of fly casters bring their fly rod back too quickly, which causes the line to stack and you lose all of that line speed and energy that you've generated in your rod. If Brad Pitt did it this way, so can you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Brad, that is a good form, super patient, nice presentation, delivers the fly perfectly to the fish, and guess what? Fish on! So you wanna make sure it's a nice, easy cadence when you're casting your fly rod. Wait for the line to fully extend back behind the rod before bringing it forward. The longer the cast, the longer the cadence is gonna be so that line fully extends back behind you. The next thing we wanna talk about is application of power. You don't wanna to put too much punch into that fly cast because if you do, you're gonna put an unnecessary bend on the fly rod and you're gonna create potentially a tailing loop. That essentially is when the fly comes back and grabs the line midair. So you wanna have the right application of force when you're casting a fly rod. It should be easy to reach 40 or 50 feet with very little effort if your mechanics are where they should be. The next thing you wanna do is practice. Practice when you're not fishing so that when you're out there fishing, you can actually catch a fish. So you wanna practice in a place like this, wide open space in a dock, or way out in a field like this. All right, it's time for your bonus fly fishing casting tip, and that is your fly line. Invest in a good fly line because in casting, that makes all the difference. <sighs> Good morning. You know, I got up this morning and realized I never filmed a closing to the video last night. I mean, what the heck? Anyway, so I hope that helps you become a better flycaster. All right, guys, till the next time. Fish on. And good morning.